Hey, welcome back guys. We're going to be going over the Eberl Stock Bando Bag. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I'm probably butchering it pretty bad. This is the Bando Bag. This is my current fanny pack that I use for off-body carry. So as a disclaimer, uh, this bag I did pay for with my own money and it has been an amazing addition to my outdoor adventures. Now, fanny packs are still in, no matter what anybody tells you. So why do I carry fanny pack? It's because I wanna be able to carry off body. During the winter time when I'm layered up with a flannel, a jacket, or whatever, I typically carry a full-size gun, like a Glock 17, for instance, and I typically carry appendix. As soon as the snow melts, and then we have our spring thunderstorms, and all the you know funky weather patterns around the area that I live in. I've streamlined it down from wearing jackets, flannels, vests, pants, down to a t-shirt and shorts. And so I don't typically carry a full-size gun um, during the spring or summer for that reason, because me having a dad bod, I've gained like 30 pounds over you know, the last few years. And so there's the potential for me to print. So I've streamlined it down to running a SIG P365XL. My favorite part about wearing fanny packs is that I can just throw it on. Whether I'm wearing gym shorts, shorts, pants. If I didn't feel like carrying appendix, then I will always resort to some sort of off-body carry. Whether it's in a backpack or in this instance, a fanny pack. I saw on the site that um, Herbal Stock had posted about the bando bag. And so I looked at it, I'm like, huh, that looks kind of cool. And it comes in a really sweet color too. It comes in this... It comes in four different colors. So this one fits around me pretty well. It, it doesn't move around as much. And I typically carry it in the front, like a front butt. I don't really carry it over the chest like a satchel. However, that's also an option, but I like carrying it kind of similar to how I would um, carry appendix. I would like to also carry my fanny pack in the same area and have the ability to quickly deploy from the fanny pack. And so the bando bag helps me accomplish that. In the front compartment, there is a zipper. I typically carry my wallet in there. Above it is another area, which is a bigger compartment. And I like to carry a spare mag, Surefire light with the Theorem switchback, and a tourniquet, cat tourniquet. If I don't want to carry a cat tourniquet, I typically will carry like a soft tee because it's just, it has a much flatter profile, but this fits just fine. And then there are two additional slots plus a mesh netted area as well. In the actual gun compartment area, gun compartment, I just thought about the Kevin Hart stand up when he talked about gun compartments. Gun compartment. I have in here a Glock 19. Gun is empty, by the way. It is currently hooked up to a Raven Concealment VG2 minimalistic guard, trigger guard. And I have attached to a string to a Velcro um, liner um, device. It actually retains slots for three batteries or chem lights or whatever. I believe I got this from T-Rex Arm. When I initially got the Bando bag, it came with this very elastic um, Velcro band that you could just slide your gun and um, the trigger guard through. Wasn't really a fan of it. It's very flimsy. Um, I don't like that there was still a portion of the trigger that was exposed, so I got rid of that and I went ahead and I ordered the Raven Concealment uh, trigger guard. It's been awesome. Um, I've taken it to the range a couple times and I'm able to get the gun out safely and efficiently and I was able to put rounds on target without any issues. So I wish that they had a loop because in the Spirit Systems uh, fanny sacks, there's a loop and you can attach a carabiner and get a string attached. Now, I currently have it without a weapon mounted light. I'm not able to really put a weapon mounted light with this gun. I've tried playing with weapon mounted lights. I have, like, I typically carry Surefire X300s and it definitely extends past the barrel and it, it doesn't really fit that well. So, uh, you know, I would, I would just suggest um, if you were going to be running a weapon mounted light on this gun, you might want something that's going to sit flush with the weapon. Um, but then again, it's. I don't know, like there's not a ton of real estate, so that's why I carry a handheld light. The first time I carried in a fanny pack, it was kind of weird for sure. You have to get some reps in with it. It's not the same as pulling your, your shirt up and getting the gun out. There's definitely a difference to deploying the gun from the fanny pack, and you have to stage the zipper in a way that would be efficient for you. I came with two zippers in the deployment area. I just found that using two hands to unzip and then using my dominant hand to draw my weapon out wasn't that efficient. 
So what I ended up doing was I took the right zipper, brought it all the way down, removed the pull tabs, and then I just kept just one pull tab. And so I would take my non-dominant hand, unzip it, and then I would use my right dominant hand to reach for my gun to establish that solid purchase. Now, if you are familiar with drawing appendix, <laughs> I recommend that if you're going to be carrying in a fanny pack to get training at home, guys, really, really work on uh, dry fire repetitions because it's definitely gonna feel a bit foreign. It's gonna feel a bit weird because the first time that I started drawing from a fanny pack, I was like, okay, it's same thing, whatever, right? And then I tried, I'm just like, man, I'm freaking slow at the draw here. Like you're gonna be a little slower getting the gun out from a fanny pack. But I think that if you put in enough time and training behind it, you can get pretty quick drawing from a fanny pack. Definitely train dry fire and then go out to the range to get some live fire training in as well too. The biggest benefit that I've seen to carrying this fanny pack was when I would go hiking with my family. And we've been hiking in some, some pretty awesome areas that have quite a bit of elevation gain. I would carry my son on my back. We have like a backpack carrier. And so I would put this on and then get my son on my back and then I would strap him, I would strap it in and then cinch it all up and I'm ready to go. When you wear it for quite a bit of time, you almost forget that it's there. Kind of like if you were to carry appendix or small the back. When you carry it for a bit of time, you forget that it's there. It's just a natural part of my body. And so this has been an amazing addition to all of our adventures. Well guys, there you have it. That is what I carry in my bando bag fanny pack. However you want to carry it, whether you want to carry it in the front, like a front butt, a fanny pack, side compartment, or the chest like a, you know, like a, like a satchel, not a man purse, purse, purse. I wonder what you guys carry in yours, if your wife loves you or not, after wearing a fanny pack in public with her. List in the comments below, guys. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Keep training.